Yeah, proud of our guys. Um, you know, resilient effort. You know, wasn't our best basketball and give Belmont a ton of credit. Um, but the guys found ways to win here tonight, you know, especially in that second half, being able to get some stops. Uh, everyone who played contributed. You know, I thought AJ and obviously Scotty coming off the bench were huge for us. I thought the crowd was great. You know, they gave us a ton of energy and the guys needed it at different points throughout that game. And, you know, that's a really good offensive team and a really good team in general. So to be able to play the type of defense we did tonight, really proud of the group's effort. I asked AJ about that, you know, being able to hold a team that scores 81 a game to 63. How much of that was just kind of locking in? How much of it was finding a little bit extra uh, down the stretch after they had gone ahead by five? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we didn't start the second half off the right way, um, and they were able to make some plays. And, you know, I think around 14 minute or 12 minute mark, the guys really understood, you know, that time's ticking and we got to make some plays here. We got to pick up our energy, our defensive intensity. We lost Tyson there to start the half a couple times and he was able to get some threes, but um, they did a good job the last eight minutes of the game, taking away threes and throughout the game, you know, a team that makes, you know, nine threes a game, you know, to be able to, you know, hold them to six was, was big for us. What about what AJ was able to do basically all over the floor, just hitting, hitting big shots and then kind of helping out with rebounding, blocking a couple shots their way? Yeah, I mean, he, he's, he's going to be a really good player. You know, he was playing great before the injury, and, you know, obviously he's starting to get his game rhythm back. He gives us another option in terms of guys who can get paint touches off the bounce. You know, I thought he drove the ball with confidence, and, you know, he's been able to make some threes here the last couple games, and, you know, that's going to open things up for him too. And how much of the second half represents Scotty at his best in terms of not just using his strength, but his, his quick feet around the bucket? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy for Scotty. Scotty's been putting a lot of extra work in here, and it pays off. You know, it always does. And, uh, you know, he was huge for us. You know, you know, every time he scored, the crowd went crazy, gave us energy. Um, and he scored, you know, sometimes he scores off set plays. I think tonight he scored off offensive rebounds, off of just playing out of action. So he was able to find some ways to, you know, get big baskets for us. And, you know, he was huge. There was a, play, a couple of other plays, too, guys. You know, Trent was struggling to make shots, but he made a hustle play on a chase down his own shot. I think he fed Scotty for yeah. a bucket. Play like that, is that the type of play that kind of, Lights a spark under a team to see a guy doing that. Yeah, I mean that's a that's, that's a winning play. You know that's a huge play. Um, you know Trent was you know he was one for seven from three, but the one three he hit was huge. And you know we're a much better defensive team when he's on that court. So uh, you know he's going to be able to make shots, but you know to be able to chase down his own rebound and be able to find Scotty for a big basket, you know that can change the momentum. How tough a cover was uh, Dia for uh, Belmont? Yeah, I mean he's. He's done that to everyone, and you know they're so good because they got everyone around them can make threes, and everyone around them can make baskets. So if you double team him, you're giving up threes to 40% three-point shooters. Uh, you know he, he's a guy who can score in all different ways, from the post up, from top of the key, making the three. Um, so you know he played a really good game tonight. Um, kind of eager to see how this team does does business now on the road these next couple of games against Illinois State and Buffalo. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's the fun part now, you know, to go on the road. You know, it's the best thing in college basketball. I try to go get a road win. and um, You know, we got to get better here these next couple of days and be ready to go on uh, Saturday night. And the defense, you know, going back to that, I mean, you, know, you hold them to 63. You did, what did you most like about what the, your team was able to do to, to kind of stay with it and uh, find a way to put together multiple stops on the road when you needed it? I think for the most part, we didn't let our offense affect our defense, and that's hard to do, especially against a team like Belmont. You know, we didn't shoot the ball well. I don't think it was a great offensive game um, in general, but we kept guarding. You know, a lot of times when teams don't shoot well against them, they're able to get 10 0, 15 0 runs and separate from teams, and we were able to get stops and keep the game where it needed to be until we were able to make some big baskets. So just being resilient and, and continuing to let, uh, you know, being able to continue to get stops. First things first, uh just uh, how how happy were you with being able to make that type of contribution when your team needed it in the second yeah. half? Uh, feels amazing. Feels really amazing. My team needed it. Obviously, um, one of them, somebody had to pick up, so uh, I decided to pick up. Listen, was it just kind of getting that first basket on the board, the first rebound, first whatever? It just seemed like everything just kind of rolled for you after that. Was that kind of the case for you? I want to say that. Um, it started off with me at Garden Dia. We gave him a few couple stops. We got to travel on that. That kind of like got me going until the second half. Too. Um, what, why do you think you all were able to, to get so much stuff done inside in that particular stretch? It's effort, honestly. It's just effort. 
That's the that's the only thing I can say is effort. How big was AJ's performance off the bench? Tonight? Yeah, AJ was great. Yeah. AJ was really great. Great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. How big was this win for you guys? It's a big win for sure. They're they're two and zero, obviously, and yeah, it's just a big win. Uh, I can't really say anything from us. It's always a value win is always a big win to me. Feel like in some ways this could be a breakout game for you. Hope so. I mean, yeah, just hope so. I don't to say about that. AJ, uh, just uh, how good did the night feel? Not just for you personally, but be able to help the team win like you did. It felt good. Um, I always had hope from the jump. Uh, even when we got down, we still had hope. Um, just knew we got to keep fighting. It felt great. Um, when you hit your first shot, it's a three-pointer. Uh, does that kind of tell you, hey, this just might be my night to uh, bust out here a little bit? Uh, nah, I just, I don't know. It just felt good coming off. Thank, uh, thank Trent for hitting me on a fast break. It just felt good. Everything just kind of flowed from there, I guess? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. a little bit. What was the difference in that stretch in the second half? They were, they were up by five, and then all of a sudden you guys got up, I think it was, by six or seven in that one run. What was the difference there? We just had to tell ourselves just keep locking in and getting stops. Don't even worry about the offense, just get stops. Keep getting stops. We know our offense is going to come. We just got to focus on defense. They were averaging 81. You guys held them to 63. What do you think allowed the defense to come through the way it did against an explosive team? Uh, just a lot, of, a lot of preparation uh, and a lot of focus. He was locked in on defense all week on, on scout, so this is a lot of preparation. Speaking of defense, you had a nice little chase down block there at the end. Uh, is that almost as much fun as a dunk for you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's about the same. Uh, I get I get hyped for both of them. My teammates get hyped for both of them as well. I'll ask you the same thing I just asked Scotty. How important a win could this be for you guys? It's good. Every, every win is a big win, so all our wins are important, super important. So game by game, win by win, we just take it in. And how big was Scotty's performance off the bench in the second half? Man, Scotty, Scotty had a great performance tonight. Scotty was a dog tonight. 